Immediately, we recognize we're dealing with an exponential function because we have an, a letter in our exponent. We should know that this 7500 is our start, our y-intercept. This, um, anything greater than 1, we know we're increasing. So we take that increase, the 0 0.007, we divide it by 100, and we get a 0.7% increase on our 7500. And finally, raised to the 2t is obscure. Normally, it's raised to the t, so this is definitely going to have impact. We always want to try to imagine what amount of time would I have to plug in to make an increase of 0.7%. So if it was just t, it would be every one year is an increase of 0.7%. So what could I plug in for t to make this 1? It would be when t is equal to 1 half. 1 half times 2 gets me 1. We would end have an increase of 0.7%. So that's going to really help us going through the answers. They say, which statement is the best interpretation of this? Well, I think we already kind of nailed it. Our goal is to always get our exponent to 1, so we're looking for when t is 1 half, we get an increase of 0.7%. Down below, in A, I see at the end of every two years, so this one is probably trying to trick us. It would only be every two years if it was 1 half t, because then when I plug 2 in for t, I get a 1 overall. In B, every six months, we like that the balance increases by about $7. That's not true. We're looking for a 0.7% increase. In C, at the end of every six-month interval, the balance increases by about 0.7%. That's 100% what we were looking for. And just to make sure in D, every two years, that's not it. It's going to be C here.